Hey everybody, it's me Zanya Foco, and I am so glad today I have an incredible success story that I just have to share with you. It is Joni from Texas, and let me tell you about her. She has lowered her cholesterol, wait for it, 53 points in just three months with diet changes only. Hmm. And today she's going to share exactly how she did it. Yay. And just to set the stage about Joni, let me tell you, a few weeks back, she emailed me and she said, I have had elevated cholesterol for a few years. I've tried different ways to lower it without success. I thought I knew everything about diet because one, I have always been careful with my diet. Two, I have exercised regularly. And three, I've never been overweight. And four, I'm a nurse. <laughs> She says, all of my family is on cholesterol medication and I didn't want to be on medication. I searched YouTube and found you one day. I watched several of your videos and enrolled in your lower cholesterol class. I purchased both cookbooks and it has been three months and here are the results. Okay, before her cholesterol, and you want it to be below 200, her cholesterol was 252. And in three months, she dropped it to 199. Now, her HDL, did it come down with it? No, no, no. The HDL is the good cholesterol. It was 52 before, which is good. And it went up to 58. That's outstanding. Triglycerides, you wanted to be below 150. Hers were 180, and they dropped to 136. It's excellent. And the LDL cholesterol, that's what really matters. That's the lousy cholesterol. The goal is to be below 130. And hers was 167. And she got it down in three months to 116. That is where the money really is. That's so fantastic. And her ratio went from 4.8 down to 3.4. That is fantastic. Putting her at low risk for heart disease and needing no medication. Ha! These are huge <laughs> changes and all in just three months. Um, so I love it. Other members of the family needed medication, but not Joni. So how many of you are thinking, I wanna be that member of the family, right? That doesn't have to be on medication like everybody else. And what exactly did Joni do to get these jaw dropping results? Well, here to give us the full scoop is Joni from Texas. Thanks for joining us today. Let's jump into this, shall we? I think the first question that I think we all want to know is like, when you saw the first video with me or whatever, what, what did you start doing? What were your first diet changes? What did you do? I stopped eating meat every day and um, started eating more beans and oatmeal and everything you said to lower the cholesterol. So I hopped in. But before I before your cookbooks came, I was eating beans every day. That's all I was eating. <laughs> so thank heavens that your cookbooks <laughs> came. <laughs> but wait a minute. You mean you were eating beans every day, not before you started filing no. instructions? No. Oh, no. but waiting once, for the cookbooks to come. Once I watched your videos, then it's like, well, I'm not going to eat meat anymore. I'm just going to eat beans. <laughs> So you're saying some of the first steps were less meat, but did you give up right. on meat? No, I didn't. I didn't. No. But um, in the past, when I was trying to get my cholesterol down before, mm -hmm. before I met you, um, I thought, well, if I just cut out beef, if I just cut out beef and just go to chicken, that'll do it. Well, it didn't change at all. Oh, that's right. And so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They both the have cholesterol. It's the same amount of cholesterol cell for cell, whether it's chicken right. cells or if it's animal cells. Right. Or cells. Mm -hmm. And things that I didn't know, you know, okay, I'm going to cut out the meat. I'll just have a grilled cheese sandwich. Well, cheese is just as bad or worse than meat. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know mm -hmm. it's high in saturated fat. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that sugar could boost up your cholesterol. Nice That's changes, Joan. <laughs> okay. So your first was you started adding a bunch of beans. 
Right. You didn't give up all meat. Well, at first you thought you had to, but then you realized, oh, I just need to be aware of my amounts. And you realized that just changing from beef to chicken wasn't all it took no. um, and that you could include beef leanly and smartly. Right. Right. Okay. What else? What other changes did you make? You know, I, I added, I added the beans. I added um, oatmeal. Oh, nice. I do a smoothie every morning for breakfast. Um, your daily defender guy. Yeah. I did that right away, but I found it on your website and I keep it on the refrigerator. And really that's very helpful because in my smoothie every morning I have kale, I have spinach, I have berries. Um, let's see what else flaxseed. So I knock out half of the daily defender uh -huh. at breakfast time. Joni, thank you for that. It's so true that um, part on the website lives these daily defender checklist. It's a wipe erase with a nice little pen so you can do it over uh -huh. and over, but it's to check mark and you can do it as a family or do it just yourself. But it helps remind you to get these nine daily superfoods. They're daily uh -huh. defenders. And um, you've said that that's been really particularly helpful uh -huh. for you. Without mm -hmm. having to follow a recipe, just get these foods in, uh, in your smoothie and your breakfast oatmeal and your whatever. Right. Salads. Right. How differently do you grocery shop now from before? When you look at my cart in the grocery store, it's half full of fruits and vegetables. The first thing I do is hit the produce aisle and half of it is fruits and vegetables. Um, I really don't go down the center too much. I do to buy whole grain pasta, uh, to buy nuts, but really I stay out of the processed food area. And that's another thing I changed. I try to avoid processed foods. That's where the money is. Yeah. yeah. Isn't and it? It, it does cost more in my opinion now to buy groceries and things because you're buying fresh, but it's worth it. You either pay now or you yeah. pay later. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I have to buy for that cholesterol medication. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, very good point. I mean, I think some foods are cheaper. Beans are cheaper. You know, some things are cheaper. You're not having as much meat. You're halving your meat. So maybe you're saving right. money in some areas, but you're spending more in other areas, but yeah. You, thank you for sharing how you're grocery shopping differently. Are you cooking differently? Yes, because I'm cooking out of your cookbook. And let me just say, some of the items in the cookbook, I thought I'm never going to like it. But they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> never say never. One of the, let me see the name of it. Um, the sweet potato burrito bowl. I thought it was a little odd. It was delicious. Oh, that's such, I love to bring that when people are sick and you want to bring a porch drop dinner. Oh, that's a winner. But the one that really surprised me was the Southwest uh, sweet potato. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Southwest stuffed sweet potato. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh my gosh, that's going to be so strange. Black beans and corn on a, on, on a sweet potato. With and cumin. Throw an avocado on there. I mean, I thought, oh, that's strange. That was delicious. I like that too. And, and that meal comes together in 15 minutes. Right. Right. Yeah. But the different spices that I've never in the past, I've always just used um, Cajun seasoning, seasoned salt, mainly. That's all I ever used. And, and so now, now I'm using all different types. And garlic, I've never used fresh garlic before. I've got my bowl of garlic. <laughs> it's so good for you. So yeah. good for your health in so many ways, all that raw garlic. That's so that's different. You know, that's how, I've, how differently I'm cooking. I'm not really, in the past, I would just like grill chicken or steak and maybe have a baked potato, maybe a salad. That would be, you know, or grilled chicken and macaroni and cheese, you know, so it's a lot different. It is a lot different. And so you would say with the daily defender checklist, you're eating more vegetables than right. 
for, and they're delicious, right? They're just uniquely, are you roasting vegetables? It sounds like, and that, is that new for you? Yes, I'm roasting, but I think they're delicious. Yep. Understood. That's, um, a, it, most people really like them roasted. It's a great caramelized flavor and others are like, no, I'll just stick with steamed. Yeah. So, um, in the Conquer Cholesterol and Information course that you took, in each of the four-part sessions, I gave homework, okay, to roll up your sleeves and cook dinner. Did you, did you do that? I did. I did. And what did your husband think of these recipes that you were challenging? He actually was surprised, but he says he thinks they're good. I think there's only been one that he hasn't really cared for. But other than that, he's liked them all. Yes, I'm going to call that. A, I'm going to call that good. Now, as far as the portion size, mm -hmm. when I've cooked before, when I when I started, I would just cut cut the recipe down in half. Like if it was served four, I do two. And then he would eat, and he's like, "Do you have anything else?" So now I just cook the full recipe. If he needs a little extra, he gets it, and the rest goes in the freezer. And so then, like today, he was looking around saying, well, what's for lunch? And I said, look in the freezer. And so he gets something healthy instead of a can of soup or, you know, something unhealthy. So can you tell us about a few of the new recipes that are new regulars for you? I think you mentioned a few already. So the sweet potato burrito bowl I love. The Mediterranean uh, roasted eggplant pasta is just great. In your cookbook, you say cook fish with it also. I don't eat fish. I don't like fish. So I just have the Mediterranean pasta. It's just really great. It's an entree in itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also the first recipe in the Eat Real cookbook is the uh, slow cooker chicken enchilada soup. That's really good. So I cook that also. So good. It's got black beans and corn and you put it in the slow cooker and it's with chicken and it's easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've made these changes. You got your cholesterol to go whoom, all in three months time. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you can stick with this? Do you think? Oh, yeah. Right. I definitely plan on sticking with it. I mean, it's easy too. It's just really, you just have to change. And I can tell you, like the things that I used to like, as far as like if we go out to eat, really even eating at home, just, just like I had a hamburger the other day, it didn't taste good, you know? And things that I would eat before, chicken enchiladas or cheese enchiladas, they just, it just doesn't taste good. Your chase buds do change. Right. The they, do. they do. And I didn't think I would ever be able to do with without cheese. Mm. And it's not a problem. I mean, I have it a little bit, but I don't have to. Also, butter. I didn't know butter was bad for you. <laughs> and it's not that we say you should have zero butter. I mean, you I know, what we I don't, I don't eat butter anymore. Do you use olive oil instead? What do you do? Okay, and one thing you suggested on, on there is uh, instead of a grilled cheese, try a grilled hummus sandwich. I had one of those last week. <laughs> it was good. And I grilled it with olive oil. Exactly. That's what we're talking about. Ah, oh, Joni, way to go. Any other things that you want to share? What does your husband think of your changes? What does he think? Well, he's really proud. He, when I was getting the cholesterol levels and he was like, he was worried and he was really pushing, pushing, pushing. Oh, you should be on cholesterol medicine. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to. And so he was just really happy when the numbers came down. That means he loves you. Yeah. So now sweet. the doctor, let me just tell you about the doctor. Yeah. So. I go yearly just for my annual checkup mm -hmm. and probably for the last three years, at least the cholesterol was elevated. She would say the same thing. She wasn't really concerned because they have a formula that they use 
And if it's 7.5 or above, after they do their formula, then it's time to go on medication. Mine was 3.5. So she said, you don't need to go on it. Well, I haven't been happy with it being over 200. And so she said, well, her answer every year was go on a low cholesterol diet, 200 milligrams or less a day. Okay. But that's all she said. So much more to it than that. Oh my gosh. Okay. How do I get there? You know? So when I go this year, she's going to hear about Zonia. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. I'm so proud of you making that investment when you went online and you started learning from me on my videos. And then you said, I'm going to sign up for this course. When you were looking at Conquer Cholesterol Deliciously, you read the description, you were about to buy it. So what do you think? You made that investment in yourself. It wasn't atrocious, but it was some money you, you paid for. Right. What, what would you say to others? Was it worth the investment? Oh yeah. I'm so glad. And, and I try to educate people, you know, it was a life changer for me. That's fantastic, Joni. You, but wait a second. You could have just kept eating the way you were eating and you could have just went on medicine. What is wrong with that? You're a nurse. What's wrong yeah. with medicine? It, well, I can tell you. I mean, there's a lot of side effects to cholesterol medicine. Joint pain, muscle pain. That's like the number one thing. Headaches, fatigue. And there's issues with memory sometimes. Yes. Yes. Memory loss and confusion, both of them. Who wants either one of those? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So I'm the type of person that if I can do something about it, I'm going to do it. I don't really believe in taking medication. So if I can get around it, I'm going to get around. It. And so now I have an answer. You, as a nurse, you've seen patients who come in with no medications, patients that come in that have a whole list of medications and the complications and the medications are, well, yeah, you don't want to take a medication only if you absolutely have to. And when you can correct it with diet alone, which you did diet alone uh, is fantastic. So this is fantastic. And let's mention that exercise for you, you already have always exercised, right? Right. Right. And it sounds like pet biking is your passion. It is. It is. I've ridden over 20,000 miles. And mm -hmm. you do that. Do you bike alone or with a group? I bike alone. My dad used to ride with me, but um, he's 84 now. He quit riding with me when he was 78. That's a long run for him. Good for him. And um, Joni, I just want to say thank you so much for sharing your story with us. I know it's helpful to so many. And uh, yay you for watching and uh, thanks for joining us.